Welcome to the Vertex Azure tutorial. Microsoft Azure is a cloud computing platform and infrastructure created by Microsoft for building, deploying and managing applications and services through a global network of Microsoft managed data centers. Vertex is a polyglot reactive application framework that runs on the Java virtual machine. In this tutorial, we will build a hello world kind of application, a ping pong application to be more exact, we're using two nodes deployed on Azure. Each node will be a virtual machine and the, the behavior of the application is quite simple. The ping will send a message with the content ping to the pong. The pong will print this message to the console and reply back with pong. And the ping will get this reply and print, in, print it also on the console. So let's get started. In order to start, we need to have virtual machines. So this is the typical uh, entry point of Microsoft Azure portal. To create a new virtual machine, we would select virtual machines. We select add. And in this case, uh, as you can see, you can pick as many uh, kind of uh, machines you want, including Linux, but we will use a, a already made uh, appliance with a Java 8 by Microsoft. So we'll search for JDK 8. There it is. And we say create this one. And we go through the basic configuration. We will say the name of this machine is the ping node. My username to log in into the machine, my password as it is. Resource group, I will need to say select one. There's a default one. And now I say create. Now we need to define the size of our virtual machine. It's taking a bit of time. Well, in this case, we have several options. Since vert vertex requirements are quite low, we can go with a smaller one. So we say standard select. I will go for now with the default configurations. It's up to the developer or to the DevOps team to tweak it or tune it according to the needs, but I will just accept the defaults. Now I get the summary of the machine, ping node, mm -hmm. okay. So the deployment of this machine has started and I'll start the process of building a second one. So I'll say virtual machines, add, again the same procedure, JDK 8, okay, only one by Microsoft, it's fine, okay. Well, this one I'll call Pong node. I'll give you the same username, password. I'll select select default. Okay. Again, the size. We'll go with a smaller one. Accept the default configuration, okay. So far so good, okay. Okay, two deployments have been started. So this will take a while, so let's quickly have a look at the code. So I'm gonna sw switch to my IDE. So this is the code that will run on the ping machine, so the ping vertical. What it's going to do is, as I said, it will uh, get a reference to the event buzz, send a message to Azure Table Tennis uh, address with a payload, JSON payload of a value ping. And once a reply is received, 
we will print out the reply in the terminal. Otherwise, we'll print the exception. And on the Pong machine, we will deploy, deploy the Pong vertical, which is doing pretty much the opposite. So it gets a reference to event boss and consumes messages sent to Azure Table Tennis. Once a message arrives, prints out that message and replies with Valley Pong. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So since this will take a while, I will now pause the recording and resume once the machines are built. Now that our two virtual machines are up and running, we can uh, deploy our application. I will not deploy using uh, deployment tools such as Ansible or, or, or the like. I will do everything through the console and just by copying files so you can get uh, to know how things work. So first thing is that we need to connect to the machine. So as you can see, I have uh, the ping node machine. If I click on it, I can see the details. So it's taking a bit of time. Basically, I am interested in finding out what's the public IP address so I can remotely connect to it. So here I can see that my public IP address is 41148968. So I'll do this. I'll do the same for the Pong machine. I'll retrieve the IP address. Well, I'm gonna cheat a bit. I have it already set up here on my uh, remote terminal client. So I will connect to the ping node. Well, I need to put the login username I defined before. Okay. Connecting. Mm -hmm. Wrong password. Yes, connected, and I will do it again. I will do it again now for the for the pong machine. See if I get it right this time. Yes, I got it right. So I'm logged in. So uh, I am not going to go on the details of setting up a Windows machine. And I'm going to be quite lazy here. So what I'm going to do, because by default, the Windows Server, Firewall, everything is blocked. I'm going to just turn off the firewall. This doesn't mean that your machine is vulnerable. It just means that inside Azure network, you are pro probably vulnerable, but not from the outside world. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to here, control panel. And I'm going to do this because I need to uh, allow uh, socket communication be between my machines and I don't want to spend much time here with, with rules of which ports to allow, which ports to deny, in out rules. So I'm just going to do this for now. Okay. Pong node, I will do exactly the same. Control panel. System and security. Firewall. Turn on and off, 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 okay, okay, both files are disabled. So now I'm going to install the application on this machine. So for this I'm going to use a Windows Explorer. I mounted the uh, my project folder as a network drive. So this is the Pong machine, so I'm going to Pong target that I'm going to go and copy to C and let's create here a new directory, new folder, vertex, copy there. The 
the meantime I'll do the same on this machine on the ping on the view ping target jar copy to new folder so what I've done I just copy a plain uh, vertex application to the machines one thing you need to notice is that by default uh, the default uh, cluster manager is Azelcast, and Azelcast is configured by default to search for nodes using multicast. Multicast is not enabled on Azure, and uh, so we will need to change the configuration of the cluster manager. The configuration does not to be doesn't need to be bundled with your Fed chart; can be external. So it means that my application will run either with the defaults or with a custom configuration. And the custom configuration, uh, let's, let me just show you what I have. So here I have a file called cluster XML and basically it's a plain copy paste of the default configuration with some small changes. One of the changes is that, well, I turn off multicast and the second one is that I enable TCP IP discovery and then I notify that look in the network for this uh, uh, IP so 10, 0, 0, 4 and 5 uh, you guys might be thinking why 4 and 5 well if I go back to my uh, uh, Azure, uh, uh, Azure uh, portal I pick one of the machines for example the Pong node and if I go to um, network interface, I see that this is my private IP address in 10.0.0.5 and the same will happen for the ping will be 10.0.0.4. So you don't need to list here all the IP machines in your cluster, you just need to list a couple of them that you are sure that will exist when the application boots. Second step an important one to know is that you should also still Azelcast to form a cluster on the internal network so on the 10.0.0 network so here you should do this and enable it and that's it this is all the configuration you need to do for for Azure to work so you have this cluster file I will switch back to the remote desktop I will go again to my mounted shared folder I will copy the etc directory to my vertex directory there you go and I'll do exactly the same on this machine so this PC Azure etc copy vertex paste now since we have this custom configuration we also need to have a custom start so what you're gonna do I'm going here going to change to the right directory and make sure that everything is in place Let's see. Yes. So what I need to do now is Java minus jar Azure uh, Pong Fed jar. So this would be how you would start it usually on a single node. But we need to load a custom configuration. So I need to add the entry to the class path. So minus CP etc. And now I need to say, okay, enable the cluster. And I need to specify I want to use the internal network. This only happens because we have several interfaces on Azure. So we need to do cluster host is 
10, 0, 0, uh, which IP is the Pong. Let's go back to the console. So the Pong is 5. Dot 5. Okay. Now it should start. Okay, starting. Starting the cluster. Well, we see a couple of logging from Hazelcast. Hazelcast reporting that it found the cluster with one member. So, so far so good. We only deployed one node. And we have information that it succeeded deploying the vertical. So, let's go to the ping machine. And let's go and do the same. Switch to the right directory. Now Java minus char Azure ping add the configuration to the class path turn on the cluster zero zero four turn on the right IP address. Let's see what happens. Starting. Azure cost logging. Azure cost from a cluster with two members. More logging. And there you go, we get the message back. So this means that on the Pong side, we got the ping. We received the ping. And then we send back a pong. So as you can see, ping pong between machines and vertex is very, very simple. And you don't need to recompile your application or uh, do it differently. If you were deploying, say, on Amazon or web service or web cloud or your own data center or in any other uh, platform, it just works. I hope you guys enjoyed. I did. Well, see you. See you next time. Bye-bye.